Healthier TV channel. I'm your host Dr. Mamatha Chitriki and today we shall be talking about N-acetylcysteine, NAC. N-acetylcysteine has been used in clinical practice to treat critically ill septic patients and more recently for COVID-19 patients. NAC has antioxidant, anti-inflammatory and immune modulating characteristics that may prove beneficial in treating and preventing SARS-CoV-2. NAC helps to replenish glutathione levels in the body. It also helps in regulating glutamate. These functions may help to improve brain health and benefit people with conditions such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. NAC may help with psychiatric disorders and addictive behaviors. Some research shows that NAC can help improve symptoms of depression and bipolar disorder. Other studies say that the supplement may help decrease withdrawal symptoms and lower the risk of relapse in people with addictions. Reduction of heart disease risk. Test tube studies suggest that combining NAC and green tea may help to reduce damage caused by oxidized LDL cholesterol, a risk factor for heart disease. NAC also helps boost nitric oxide, oxide production, improving your blood flow and lowering your heart attack risk. Improvement in fertility. NAC may help to improve fertility in both men and women. One study found that men supplementing with NAC and selenium experienced increased semen quality. And NAC may also help to enhance fertility in women. Health risks. Whilst NAC provides important health benefits, there are a few potential risks to consider. One is slow blood clotting. NAC may impair blood clotting, so if you have a bleeding disorder, such as hemophilia, then, or if you're taking blood thinning medications, you should avoid NAC supplements. Medication interactions. NAC has few known medication interactions. It may, however, interfere with medication for angina and diabetes. NAC may intensify the effects of nitroglycerin, which could contribute to dizziness and fainting. For those with diabetes, it may cause hypoglycemia. In rare cases, NAC may cause kidney stones to form. Amounts and dosage. As your body can produce cysteine, there are no dietary recommendations. Many protein-rich foods contain the nutrients you need for your body to produce them. NAC supplements help to fill in any gaps and help to increase cysteine levels. However, these supplements have low bioavailability, meaning that they are not well absorbed by the body. The typical recommendation for NAC is between 600 and 1800 milligrams. Is it okay to take NAC every day? Well, NAC has no recommended daily allowance because unlike vitamins, it's not an essential nutrient. The dosage to prevent radio contrast dye damage is 600 to 1,200 milligrams every 12 hours for 48 hours. Who should avoid taking NAC? If you have asthma or bleeding problems, your doctor may tell you to avoid NAC. You'll likely be told to stop NAC two weeks before any elective surgery. If you're pregnant or breastfeeding, you must check with the doctor before using NAC supplements. Does NAC help you get over COVID? N-acetylcysteine is inexpensive, has low toxicity and has been FDA approved for many years and has the potential to improve therapeutic strategies for COVID-19. NAC administered intravenously, orally or inhaled may suppress SARS-CoV-2 replication and improve outcomes if used in a timely manner. How does NAC make you feel? Well, high amounts may cause nausea, vomiting, diarrhea and constipation. Inhalation of NAC solutions can cause swelling in the mouth, runny nose, drowsiness and chest tightening. People with bleeding disorders or taking blood thinning medications should not take NAC because it may slow blood clotting. Conclusion NAC helps to replenish glutathione 
arguably your body's most powerful antioxidant. Therefore, it may help improve a variety of health conditions. I hope that you have enjoyed this little video on N-acetylcysteine and I hope you subscribe to You Can Be Healthier TV channel. I'm your host, Dr. Mamatha Chitriki, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye for now.